Yes, son. trailer real quick because uh my white window cleaning trailer the fender on this side came off the, the screw bolt holes are stripped we put these machine screws up in here and the thing fell off on the road one time almost completely i got it kind of just sitting in there all rigged but i would like to take just take some caulk and put it all around there i'm gonna see if they can fix it real quick if not we gotta be at a window cleaning job in 20 minutes on three cities away. He just gave me a drill. He said, have at it, dog. Did I do something wrong? Oh, he's video. <laughs> How much do I owe you, sir? $22.95. $22.95. Whatever you have. 20 bucks. You. Thank you, sir. You right there. Very good. Yes. Today's a bit of a short day. I've got just a window cleaning and a gutter cleaning job. So I'm going to do something I haven't done in a long time, and that is hit some golf balls and have an extended lunch break. I'm going to go hit some golf balls at the golf dome, and uh, it's going to be fun. I haven't been here in, I haven't been here in probably 10 years. Let's see, small or large. I think I'll do some inside and some outside. Can I do a, a large bucket? Here's a good spot. Put them right here. There we go. Now I need a club. What kind of club should I get? Right-handed, left-handed. I think I would be right-handed. This looks good. A driver. And we'll get a nine iron. Or is that a six iron? Where's a nine iron? There's a nine iron. Ah. Let's try this.
know for sure if this is the right way, but I hold the club like this. I put my thumbs down, and then I take my index finger here, and then my pinky, and I interlock these two, and then I wrap them, and I put my thumbs down like so, see? And then I relax my wrists. I never do this. I don't know anything about this. This is the way that I do it. So let me know in the comments below. guy I ran into uh, at Boston Market the other day happens to be here. He's like, I'm like, I know you. He's like, I was behind you in line at Boston Market. He's like, I'm like, well, dude, give me a golf lesson real quick. And he showed me some awesome stuff. It's actually effortless when you do it the right way, which I still don't know, compared to the wrong way. weird when I try I can't hit it but when I relax I hit it this is so strange I'm in anxiety and toiling and guilt right now because I'm hitting balls at the with golf balls like if I do anything that is not work and making money I feel like my life is going to fall apart I'm gonna lose everything and that I am a piece of crap and I don't really love my family and I don't want to move our lives forward and get a house and start having fucking babies and all this. It's like horrible anxiety. I can't do anything and relax for a second because that makes me selfish. Okay, let's go outside. Oh, this is great. I'm so glad I did this. This is probably one of the last nice days this year. See, the way I see it is each golf ball represents a different stress in your life. See this? This is one stress. Let me think of one stress. There's a good stress. Now let's, let's get rid of that stress. See how good I am at getting rid of this stress.
here's another stress. Here's another one in my life. This is a big one. Let's see if we can get rid of this stress. Shit ain't so bad. Oh, I want to go on this roller coaster, but they closed it. That's not a roller coaster. Yes, sir. Well, I think I'll give the rest of these away. Because I'm all done. You can have these, sir. I'm all golfed out. Hey, man. Thank you very much. Yes. Appreciate that. Don't give up. Yeah, thank you. That's two people in the last 10 minutes that said don't give up. I am never giving up. I don't know what's happened to me, but my own stresses and pains make me more empathetic towards other people, even complete strangers, where I can shake someone's hand and I can almost cry because I feel, it's like I can feel other people's pains, like I can see right into their lives. Cool, I wouldn't trade it for the world.